the objective of this video is to change from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. In my previous videos, we changed from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates. So let's see if we can make some headway, can we make some formula before we do the example. So I say this is your y and this is your x-axis. Uh, this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So let us take any arbitrary point, say the point somewhere here. So if you have seen my previous video, so this is an arbitrary point which is at a distance of r and making an angle of theta with the positive arm of the x-axis. So this is theta. So this point is, you can say in polar form is r comma theta. Now this point, so let me join this point with the x-axis. Let me draw a dotted line. Say a dotted line. So this is corresponds to x-axis and y-axis. So this point say corresponds to A on the x-axis and B on the y-axis. So this in a Cartesian form or a rectangular form it is A comma B. So can we find a relation between A, B and R theta? Okay. So you can say, we can say that this is A, this distance is A, and this is B. And this is again a right angle triangle. So what can we say? Okay. Can we say cos theta? Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is A over so instead of A, let us write X and Y, okay? A and B can be confusing. Why not? Uh, okay, so let us take because X and Y, no, we'll, let us make this X and Y because there's no need of taking A and B. So this is say, X, this is X, this is your X and this is your Y. So the coordinates are X comma Y, okay? So here, can I say cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is R, which is X over R, which implies, what is X? X is R cos theta. And what is sine theta? Let me do it here. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is Y over R. So if you make Y the subject, Y is R sine theta. So this formula we can use for any conversion from polar form to rectangular form. If we know r and theta, x would be r times cos theta and y would be r sine theta. Okay, so let us take an example. Okay, let us start with say 2 comma, the first example is 2 comma 30 or 30 degree. So <laughs> this formula so we can say r is 2 and theta is 30 degree. So what is x? x is uh, r cos theta, which is 2 times cos 30. Cos 30 is half. We'll check this on a calculator, which is 2 times, no, cos 30 is root 3 over 2, sorry. Cos 30 is root 3 over 2, so which is root 3 okay and root 3 is how much is 1.7 something okay it is we'll check that on a calculator later and y is r sine theta which is 2 sine 30 and sine 30 is half so which is 2 times half which is 1 so this is same as saying to be exact, let us say root 3 comma 1. Now how do we do it on the calculator? Let me exit from this. Let me cancel. So first you go to option, then F6, angle, again F6. You want to change this into polar form, so rectangular form. So you should type in rectangular form. Yeah, and then type in the polar form, which is 2 comma 30. Now, I have changed the setting. You should always check your setting. My set angle is in degrees. 
Okay, if it's in region, you will have a different answer. So this is the polar form. This is 2, the R is 2 and theta is 30. So 1.73, which is uh, root 3 and 1. So your answer is right. So this answer is right. Okay, so let me do one more example. Okay, so let me change the question. Uh, say it is uh, 12 comma negative 60. Now only to give you an idea of what this means, is, what this actually means. This is x and y axis. This is your x axis and this is your y axis. Now this is in polar form. So this negative 60 means this Mm, you are going a distance of 12 this is not drawn to scale this is a distance of 12 and an angle of 60 degree so you're going anti-clockwise you're going 60 degree anti-clockwise so this distance from year to year origin this is your origin the distance from this this point to this point is 12 units and you're traveling at an angle of 60 anti-clockwise so this in radial form so in polar form is 12 comma negative 60 degree and we want to find x and y so here we know r is 12 and your theta is minus 60 degree so x uh, x is r cos theta which is 12 times cos minus 60 and y is r sine minus 60 okay cos 60 cos negative 60 is 12 because it's an even function so this is 12 cos 60 okay, and cos 60 i know is half so which is 6 and it also makes sense because your cos your your x corresponds with the x axis so even if it's positive or negative this x value is always going to be positive sine 60 uh, this would be 12 uh, this is r cos theta r sine theta the formula is r sine theta which is 12 times sine negative 60 and sine is an odd function which is minus 12 times sine 60 which is and it makes sense because sine corresponds your y corresponds with sine and that would be negative so it's minus 12 times sine 60 is root 3 over 2 which is uh, minus 6 times root 3 so we can see the coordinates so let us use a calculator first this is minus 6 times shift root 3 this is 10.4 or minus 10.4 so you can say your x is 6 and your y is minus 10.4 in 1 dp so how will you do it on the calculator? Option F6, F5, F6, F2. And the coordinates were 12, comma, negative 60. Okay, 12, comma, negative 60. Which is 6 and 10.39 or 10.4.